Hi guys, it is Thursday, the 11th, oh, 9-11, yep, I remember. Okay, um, yesterday I created two art journal pages and having some foo-foo early in the day, yes, it's kind of rainy. I didn't ride my bike today. My shoulder is hurting me today. I don't know why. It started hurting yesterday afternoon, and I decided not to ride this morning. So, anyway, um, yesterday's page, the first one was free to create, based on a prompt from an art journal. We're all done. It's all dry, and I love how it turned out. And you all can see the video. It's, it's up and ready for you. And the other one, now that you... I've had a day pass, you can see it dry, is Believe in Miracles, and I really love it. I really love how this turned out. I'm not putting another coat of anything on it. It doesn't need it. And I thought today I would go ahead and do another page in my journal, but I really I got sidetracked and decided on something different. So these are going to go off to the side. I will come back to these at some point. I've been talking about... Um, creating things from the happy mail that you've sent me and I always clean my mat while I chat with you <laughs> and um, today's a good day to do that I'm, I'm trying to do a few things that just make me feel free instead of obligated to follow through and finish you know like big projects and stuff like that and this might be a little bit big project because um, what I have in mind might take a little while. It's not a huge amount of stuff. It's just what I want to do might take a little time. But anyway, um, the very, very, very first Happy Mail I ever, ever got is right here. Not this one. This one is the first card I ever got. But this is the first Happy Mail. Same person. And um, her name, she doesn't want me to say her name, and I respect that. But I can say her screen name she goes by now. I think it's Mickey's mom. I think that's what it is. So she sent me a card she made, and this is the very first thing I ever got. And I'm setting it to the side. I might use it. I'm not. I'm not sure. But this is the happy mail she sent me. The very first thing I ever got in mail. Oh, hope I didn't show the address. If I did, I'll block that part out. This is the very first thing I ever got. I'll repeat myself <laughs> just in case. Um, the first happy mail I ever got. It came in this envelope. And I already showed you the Happy Mail, but what I thought I would do is create something from what she sent me, so, sort of like a challenge myself. I may not use everything. See, what I plan to do is I'll use as much of something that you send me as I can in a project, and then the rest of it I'll put into like a leftovers pile, and then I'll draw from that to use for other projects. But I will forget who sent me what. And so my goal is to make something with the things that you've sent me so I can remember what you sent me, remember you individually, specifically um, set aside from other people because it's important to me that, that I recognize and remember what you've sent um, and it doesn't get lost on the shuffle. So I'll use as much as I can in a project and, and I'll put your name on it and the date and all the stuff that is relevant to that um, gift you sent me and then the leftovers can go somewhere else and it will be okay if I forget, if I don't remember, because I've used a lot of what you sent in a project already. So, in her mail she sent me this cardboard, it's to stabilize it, and I thought that would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I was going to fold it, but I don't know if I should fold it. I may cut this, I may cut this in half and create like a little journal or something with the things she sent. So that's what I'm going to do to start. Put this up here. Just cut this in half to get myself a base to start on. I just set these envelopes too and I thought about using those. I'm not sure yet. Once I, I'm going to start with this. This is going to be my starting point. So let me get my cutter and I'll be right back. This video is going to be in parts, probably, because it'll probably be long. So, what I want to do ugh, is have a farm table in here that I work on and have plenty of room. 
Um, let's see. How, how big is this? This is about a 12 inch. About. Let me get another ruler. That'd be easier to use. Okay, it's a little under 12 inches. Just a tad. Just a tad. So, I'm going to cut it at the 6 inch mark and then I'll, I'll put the smaller piece on top. That's what I want to do. So, I'm going to do it this way though because I want this to be the bottom piece. So this will go here and the only reason I have my cutter here where is the sticks? Oh, there. I thought it was up there. The only reason I brought my cutter is to kind of give me a guideline, really not to cut because I don't want to use the cutter on this. It's just to give me a score line, basically. The board's not even. It's uneven down here, so it's not going to be perfectly... Um, I might actually cut it. It's not going to be a perfectly straight journal, but that's okay. There. Okay. There we go. Might need that. We'll keep that handy. You can see it's uneven up here. It's longer. And this is wider. And that's okay. I'm stalling. She sent me this wallpaper, which is beautiful. I was thinking of using that as the cover. Or maybe part of it. Maybe part of it. Let's see what else is in here. Embellishments of sorts. Um, some hearts. Some paper. This is, she wrote it on there, or she told me. No, oh, I can't remember. Rice paper or deli paper? This is rice paper here. That's rice paper. That's so cool. Okay, and this is steak paper. Steak paper. Okay, and then there's a map. So, um, I could decorate the papers that she sent. I might do that. Or I could make this the cover. But it's double sided, and I really hate to lose one of the sides. So maybe I'll make it a page. There's no plan here, so this is going to take me a while. So like I said, if you guys get bored, just fast forward. I'm taking stuff that's been sent to me that has no rhyme or reason, really. I'm trying to create something out of it. <clears throat> okay, could this be a page? I think it could. I might bind this with a piece of fabric or something, depending on what I get done <clears throat> with everything else. So, we'll set that aside again. Um, the envelopes. 
they will go inside. I could make this a signature here. They could open this way. three envelopes. I took the, um, what do you call it, the fold of the envelope, this, and I tucked it inside another envelope, like this, and I'll glue this all down. I've never done this, so bear with me. I'm just learning to figure it out and trying to figure it out as I go. Okay, so that folds that way. And then I took Oh boy. How did I do it? <laughs> I already forgot. All right, hold on. Oh, okay. I tucked this one into here. And then I tucked this one it into each other. Sorry. There we go. Okay. I tuck those into each other never done this before guys so bear with me and then I took this one and I wanted it to be back here so I tucked it into the front one like that okay so now I have a tuck spot here I open I have a page I have a tuck spot I open I have a page a tuck spot okay and this is my signature here. I can stitch it here or here, but probably here because that way you get this envelope too. Okay, so that's what I did. Whew. Should I edit that out or leave it and let y'all see how I struggle sometimes? Okay, so that's another insert. So we've got these to go inside. And she had a lovely card that she wrote me that will go inside somewhere, probably in one of the tuck spots. So we'll leave that aside for now. So what I want to do is take some of the paper she sent me. This is excellent. It's cool. We are all cups constantly and quietly being filled. The trick is knowing how to tip ourselves over and let the beautiful stuff out. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm tipping myself over right now, letting all the beautiful stuff out, trying to figure out how to work this stuff. <laughs> all right, and I can make that a page like that. I think I like that idea. Okay. Another piece of paper in our signature. So we'll do that. And then there's this graph paper that's 
super, super cool ledger paper. And we're going to fold it in half and make it a page. Okay. And I think I will decorate one of these freezer papers, no, stick papers, and stick it in there. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Let's see. I'm wondering if I should decorate them first and then stick them in. If I paint on the paint on them. deal is supposed to be fun and I'm just gonna have fun I'm just gonna go for it that's what I'm gonna do and whatever happens happens and let's just hope I don't mess it up if I do I'll try to recover from it And we'll just do the best we can. How about that? All right, I'm going to pull from these colors. I really like these colors. So I don't know if I want to do them in squares or one whole cover. I like this green with the pink. If I do this whole thing in the green and then do a pink over top, or maybe the yellow. You know that buttercup color is just perfect for this. This buttercup, I think this is buttercup. Yep, buttercream. All right, we're going with the buttercream. Oh, guys. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. I really don't. I love it so much. Let's just do it, though. Let's just have a good time. And let's use one of the papers that it's going inside as the cover paper. Am I sure? Am I really sure? <laughs> Buttercream with a white on top. This feeling I have is similar to what you feel when you're doing something for someone, trying to be specific, like when I would um, make things for someone who's, who's specifically asked for a certain color or style or whatever, and... I was trying to make it to spec and I was afraid of messing it up. This is how I feel. Let's just test it over here. Oh my goodness. 
We've done it, guys. We've started. And I'm not going to put white on top. I think I'm going to put the uh, antique walnut or something like that. Rub it across the top. Oh, this is pretty. Thank you so much for sending me this. Mickey's mom. You know who you are. Haven't heard from you in a while. Haven't got an email from you for a while. How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Victor, I gave Buster your message, and I said hello to him and that you loved him, and he said howdy back, and he wished that he could come up here with everybody. <laughs> okay, I know that when I look up there, it looks really yellow, but it's not. It's a real butter cream, like it says. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see. I hope when the video gets processed that you can see the difference. While I'm thinking about it, too, I wanted to address something. Lynn, you commented on my video about the journal page, about layering and having trouble with layering. And I think you've made a comment like that before. Um, I didn't really watch the process yesterday as closely as I would like when I was editing the video. I was just trying to get it done because I was getting tired. But I went back this morning and I watched it just to make sure that, you know, as you watch it, it makes sense and flows. And um, As I watched it, I remembered what I was doing as I was doing it yesterday. And while, while it's fast forwarded, you cannot tell. But if you pay attention while you're watching and see the delays of time and and think about how much time is delayed. Let's say this is much time you're sitting here doing nothing. Fast forward it, that looks like a minute, I mean, I mean a second. But really what's happening is a minute or two is going by because I'm fast forwarding it like four times the speed. And there were several times in there that I just did not know what to do. And I switched paint colors, if you notice that. I switched paint colors a lot, holding them up, checking them. I covered over things because I didn't like what it looked like. I didn't like those round circles, so I went back over them with white. And I remember thinking, um, there were a few times during that process for the one journal, the um, one journal page for Believe in Miracles, that I just, I just didn't know what to do. I was completely befuddled. And the layering process to me was just keep adding and going until I found something I liked. It wasn't like a plan of something that's, that's, you know, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit down and do this. And it appears that way in fast forward videos. And that's one thing I want to tell you. When you watch people make videos, who make videos, um, my first impression when I used to watch them before I was creating them was they know exactly what they're doing and they're going so fast and they just have such a, a knack for this and they just know the next step. Well, they have a knack for it, yeah, because we stick to it. But the fast forward makes it look that way. It's not really that way in real real person. In real person, you're sitting here and you're thinking and you're debating and I'm, I'm tapping my fingers, I'm trying to decide and struggling. There's sometimes where you're just thinking, sometimes where you're struggling. And there was a couple times I struggled during that one. And I, I'm not afraid to admit it. I don't mind telling you. Um, I'm learning too and I'm growing too. And so what I wanted to tell you was in layering, um, the key to me was to the reason I had trouble layering was because I'd put down a layer and then I would not know what to put next or I would see something I liked and think, why would I want to cover that up? Well, I learned and I'm still learning as I go. The key to that is to not be afraid to cover something, not be afraid to keep building. And even now, I don't build as many layers as other people. I still stop and I will learn and I'll keep going and I'll, I'll experiment and I'll try and I'll keep building. But the key is to not be afraid of covering something up, just to keep going. Just don't be afraid. You can't mess it up, because if you mess it up, quote unquote, you can always fix it. You can always add to it. You can always do something more. Um, and the layering process, actually, you may take something beautiful and, like, like for example, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop here. 
um, this page this page here all the work I put into this background here this pink where I did it with with that raspberry or razzleberry and then I did it with some white and then I did a white wash and blah 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 you don't even see that you see this little bit here that's all you see I covered it completely with this you don't even see it so that's my point you just have to realize that as you're building that the layers you're creating are all adding to the one cohesive look of what you come out with and it comes together to make it beautiful. It's not the individual layer that's important. It's all the layers together. And that's that's my opinion. Somebody else may disagree. So my suggestion would be just to sit down and start playing and that's what I do. Play and see what you come up with. Just start layering paint first or put down paper first and then put some paint over it and then put some stencils and then put more paint and then put more stencils and just keep going and, and add some fabric or something. I don't know, whatever you like and see what you get. But I wanted to address that with you. I wanted to tell you that because um, I've given it some thought after I saw your comment and I remember you commenting before about it. And I remember thinking, you sound just like me. You sound like I did. And I still, I still do it. I still do it. I hesitated many times to cover up something on that page, one of those pages I was doing. So, just keep at it. Keep going. Keep doing. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> and if you see this video and you hear that and it helps, I hope, I hope it helps. Um, there's no... In my opinion, there's ways of teaching <clears throat> that people teach that you can learn how to do things. But really, in reality, my opinion, this is just my opinion, the best teacher is do. Just do. Just do something. Start something. Practice. Play. Because you'll learn and grow that way. I learn more doing and making my own mistakes than I do watching other people do. When I watch other people do... I, I do it for enjoyment. If I try to do it to learn, unless I'm taking a class, um, if I try to do it to learn, I'm more focused on the learning part instead of the enjoyment part. So really, when I'm watching other people, I do it for enjoyment because I find it easier to get them here on my own and to do. Now, if I want to know something specific to know how to do it, I go research, I go find out. I go to the people who I know know how to do those things. Oh, and one person I wanted to tell you to watch, if you want to know about layering and just just go for it and being free, I know you probably know about her, Donna Downey, the Inspiration Wednesday videos. Oh my goodness. She's one I learned a lot from. And the main thing I learned from her was just to just try. That's the main thing I learned from her. Just try. Just put it down and see what happens, because you don't know. Okay, this looks really bright and yellow, but it's not. It's really not, I promise. I don't know how to angle it so you can see, but it's not. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to take some white. I am going to go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. dry this a little bit and then we're going to add some distress stain on top and come back okay power is going on and off for some reason I'm taking some distress stain and I'm going to just go over it this has to dry a little bit before I could do that so I'll be back. okay um, I decided on frayed burlap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it across I'm going to kind of blend it in with my finger just a little bit. Okay, oh, I'm loving that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Lord, that I love it because if I didn't, I'd be crying. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Um,.
we'll do more to the outside. I may add some flowers or something of my own that I've got. Or maybe I could cut out something that she made. Or, you know, maybe I could cut flowers from this to add to it. That might be a good idea. Or I could just add it like that. I don't know. Hmm. We'll get to that in a minute. Right now, what I think I want to do is figure out how I'm going to attach this stuff. I know there's going to have to be something to secure it there. It doesn't have to be a wide gap because there's not going to be a lot of stuff added, so just a little bit there, like that. And this, I'm going to fold in this way. I'm going to paint this. Paint that, because that's going to overlap. Okay. Do I want to paint the inside of this? Let's do Paint it a um, very mild something, brownish. Oh, let me move these pants out. Let's paint it a mild brown. This is mink tan. I don't want that. All right, hold on. Let me find a paint. Okay, we're going to go with cream uh, ceramic coat trail tan because I don't want it dark. I don't want it light. I just want it painted. All right, we're going to dry some. Let's get rid of this paint to see. Definitely not colors I usually use, are they? Okay, I'm going to dry this and I will come back. Okay, Back with my frayed burlap. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's good. One. That's good. One. All right. Like I said, you're not going to see most of this, but what you do see will look sort of distressed. Oops. Sorry, guys. My knee hits because I slide forward in my chair. I'm not one of these standing type artists. I sit. Okay, let's set this dry. Um, and we will paint our boards. What color do we want to paint our boards? They're going to be seen. This is the inside. So... marking them just in case. I don't think I'll get confused. Front and side, back and side. Alright. Alright. Um. Now what? We need some stain. Walnut stain or vintage photo. Walnut stain, vintage photo. Let's go walnut, uh, vintage photo first and we can always come back over it with something darker and we find that we need to. Actually, we'll do vintage photo on here and then we'll do the walnut stain on top. How about that?
you know, I'm going to have to do something to it. You know that, right? I don't know what. Stencil or something. still want to do that. This is not doing it for me. Okay, we're going to try one more thing, and if it doesn't work, we're going to cover it. Um, I'm going to put some golden acrylic ultramarine purple or violet ultramarine violet on these and see what happens okay This has an old weathered look to it. I like that. I just don't know if it's going to go with what I want for this project. All right, that's drying. That's drying. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We could do something with this paper while we're waiting.